Hey guys, it's Ben and oh, okay. Hey guys, it's Ben and welcome back to another bucket plugin tutorial. Uh, today we're looking at teams finally. And before you start, like commenting already, yes, at the end of this tutorial there's going to be a little demonstration. I'm sorry, I uploaded them all at once and I couldn't like redo them all and stuff like that. So yes, I'm going to carry on doing that. That is going to happen from tutorials now on. Uh, so today we're doing teams, hot popular, high demand for teams. So we're going to get on with teams. Um, so what, how this plugin that I'm making today that's going to demonstrate how to do teams is going to work is we're going to do a command like slash assign and in that they're going, it's going to split the server in half into red team and blue team and it's going to send them a message saying your red team or your blue team and then I'm going to show you how you can get players in what teams and, and stuff like that. So we're going to make a utility class. Uh, so just make a new class and we're just going to call it team and this is where all of our, our sort of team data is going to be stored. Uh, so we're going to actually want to make a uh, two uh, private you know, private static list two lists of string which the strings are going to be player names because if we store player it can lead to lots of like, memory leakage and stuff so we've got two private static uh, string lists and we're going to call this one red team and it's going to be equal to a new array list uh, like so with string in this type parameters import list from java.util.list copy this paste it underneath and make this one blue team like so so that's how that's all we're going to put in there for now. Uh, in our main class, we're going to make an on command method and just return true for now. Uh, so we're going to want to check if our command label equals sign. Obviously, if you only got one command in your plugin, you don't need to do this. But for the purpose of demonstration, we're going to make it so if they do a sign, it's going to sign everyone to two players, two teams even. So, to do this, we want to loop through all the players in the server and get the first half of the players that it loops through to go into one team and the second half of the players it loops through to go to another team. So, the way that we, we do this is we say we're going to make an integer called i just so it's equal to zero, i by convention, Java, Java convention, when you just have an integer that you don't really want to call anything. We're just going to call it i um, for integer. <laughs> okay, so we're going to loop through all the players on the server like we normally would, so four player player, colon bucket dot get online players so we're going to look through all the players import player from org dot bucket entity player um so i'm just going to type this and explain it after so we're going to type if i is less than if it one i is less than bucket dot get online players dot length divided by two and then just make an else statement so what this does is it's going to oh and then after the else statement we're going to say i plus plus okay so this statement basically means that I is current. So say we had a server that had two people online, which is what we're going to have later on. So if I was equal to zero, we're going to loop through all the players. We're going to loop through the players and we're going to say if I, which is currently zero, is less than, and then this is equal to the amount of players that are online. So if I is less than two divided by two, which is one, so zero is less than two divided by two, which is one. So I is zero. <laughs> zero is less than one. We're going to you, we're going to do what is ever in here. So we're going to say add to red team, or whatever. I comment this, um, and then otherwise. So we get we've done this person. This person is now in the red team, and we're going to add one to I. So I is now one. Is one less than one? Well, no, it's not. One is equal to one. If we had less than or equal to one, this would be true, and it would add them to the red team. But it's not. I is um, equal to one. I is not less than one. Uh, so it's going to go into here, and we're going to we're going to add add them to the blue team. So, to, how do we add them to these teams? I hear you ask. Well, this is where our team class comes into play. So we're going to make two methods. We're going to make public void add to uh, team. Actually, we're going to make one method. We're going to say add team, and we're going to say team type, team type, type, and then we're going to say player, player. So the player to you know add to what team. Now, team type isn't actually anything. We're going to make team type now. So we're going to go file new enumeration enum, and we're going to say team type. I've done on enumerations before. So we're going to make two enumerations. We're going to make red, and we're going to make blue. Okay, so that's all. That is that is all that classes get all that enumeration is going to consist of. So here we're just going to say switch. We're going to say switch. So the switch statement it just it's basically an if statement. So switch type. And in case it's equal to um, red. 
So in case the type is is red, uh, which is in our team type class. So in case the team type is red, we're going to get the red team up here. So red team dot add player dot get name. Obviously, we're adding their name and not their um, the actual player object. And then we're going to break. We're going to break out of the switch statement. Case blue. We're going to say blue team dot add player dot get name and then break like so so that is how we're going to add them to the teams with this team type the reason I do this is because if you wanted to have more things you could obviously just like keep on expanding expanding this down and adding more of these and adding more stuff in here so that's how we could do that so that's gonna add them to the team so let's do that now so remove this comment and we're going to say team team Actually, I don't think I did. I make the static. I didn't make the static. We want to make this method static so we can access it by just typing like team. So team dot add team, team type dot red, and we're gonna add the player uh, that we've looped through, and then just copy this, paste it here, change this to blue, like so. So that's adding them to the team, and then let's just like uh, in here we'll send them a message so we'll say player dot send message added to and then we'll say oh, plus type dot get name or not not type dot to string and then team like so so it's gonna say added to uh, like red if it's red or blue if it's blue and then team like so okay so now say that in these teams and we want to, I don't know, uh, remove them from this team. <laughs> what we do to is, is uh, obviously quite self-explanatory. We say public static void remove from team. Now, obviously, if they're in a team already, we want to kind of not be able to add them to the team. So I guess we'll do that now, actually. We're going to make another method. We're going to make this public static uh, boolean and we're gonna say is in team and then the player so this is to check if they're in a team now to do this we say all we say is we return we're going to return red team dot contains player dot get name or blue team dot contains oh god I can't have, player dot get name so this is saying we're going to return true we're going to return true if either of if either of these contain that player's name because they're obviously in a team. Otherwise, we're just going to return false. Um, so I guess before all of this, we're going to say if is in team player. So if they are in a team, we're going to send a message saying send message. You are already in a team, and then return. So it loops out of this. It breaks out of this, and it means that they won't be added to a team. This won't happen. None of this will happen because they're they're breaking out of this, um, like so. So, I guess we want to make in our on enable public void on enable. Uh, we're going to want to clear our teams, and we're going to make another method for that. So public static void clear teams. So that's gonna just remove all the teams. And to do this, we type red team dot clear, blue team dot clear, like so. So that's clearing them from their teams, and to do that, we then just type team dot clear teams. So that's going to remove all the teams, and I guess we can also do this in our on disable, because why not? We don't want no duplicate teams, do we? Team team dot clear teams. That's going to clear them from their teams, like so. Okay, so one final thing we're going to do in our team class. I'm just trying to cover everything to do with sort of what you might want to do with teams. In this uh, in this in this video, uh, we're gonna make a public um, public list. Oh no, we're gonna do two more things. Public list string uh, get red team. So we're gonna get all of the red team. And to do this, we just type return red team, and then copy this. And we're gonna get blue team, blue blue <laughs> team, and return blue team. Uh, let's make these static as well uh, so we can just type that in um, another thing we could do is we could type public static uh, get all players in teams 
<laughs> so, we're gonna, we want to now return every single player that's in both red team and blue team. And to do this, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get both of the lists and we're going to add them together. So we're going to make a list. So we're going to make list of strings and make combined combined teams equals new array list. I can't type new array list, and then with the type parameter string. Now combined teams, combined teams, and we're going to add all. We're going to add all red team and blue team blue team like so oh sorry no we can't do that we're going to add so what this does is it adds it, it basically just adds red team into combined teams um, we're going to do this again we're going to type combined teams to add all uh, blue team and then return combined teams like so uh, I didn't even put a type we're returning we're returning a list of strings there we go and our final thing is going to be public static uh, team type get a team type from the player so first of all we want to check if they're in a team so if is in team player so if players in a team then we're actually no what we're going to do is we're going to check if the player isn't in a team then we're going to break out of this method so now we know that they're definitely or return null. We know that they're definitely in a team because we've returned out of it if they're not in a team with the exclamation mark. Um, so now we want to check. Uh, so we're going to actually just do it like this. So return, and then we're in brackets. We're going to type red team. Dot contains player. Dot get name. Question mark. Red team. Colon blue team. Like so. So I've done this uh, these question mark things before. Oh, uh, sorry, team. I forgot what we were doing. Like team type dot red, and then team type dot blue, like so. So I've done this question mark things before. So this is saying, does the red team contain the player? If the red team does contain the player, we're going to return the team type red. If not, we're going to return the team type blue. So let's, let's add a add a command to this. Uh, so let's check if the uh, label equals ignore case my team or something uh, we're going to say sender dot send message uh, team dot get team type and then just cast sender to player in this sort of instance or I mean I'm just testing obviously you do this you do this more thoroughly if you were making this proper plugin and then we'd say so get the team type uh, for the player of the sender and then we're going to say to string like so so we're gonna get the uh, actually we're gonna change to string to just name like so and in team as well we're gonna change added to here just to name okay so in our plugin dot yml uh, oh, I already have stuff here this is what it should look like uh, my team gets your team like so that's what your plugin.yml should look like. I will uh, be right back in game. Okay, right, so I'm back with me and myself <laughs> in game. Okay, so if I type slash pl, you'll see I have YouTube installed. <clears throat> and in here, I'm just going to type slash assign. And it says it's been I've been added to the red team. Now, if I go onto my other one, you'll see it says I've been added to the blue team. So if I now type uh, my team, in here it's gonna say red I'm on the red team and my other half <laughs> if I slide if I type my team it's gonna say blue so that's how we do teams in bucket I hope this helps if you would like any oh god I hate the sound I hate how it covers up my screen as well as fires whatever okay so um, if you have any other sort of suggestions on how you want to see teams done if you want something else done with teams and or you know anything else post it in the comments below otherwise if you have any issues email me at uh, ben at the bc bros bucket oh, bucket.com i can type bc bros bucket.com um, or go to the bc bros the bc bros bucket.com and do a little contact me thing on there so yeah 
Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.